Your comments, please. Yeah, you can go there. Four minutes. How many minutes? Four. I'm a speech chairman. First point. Point number one. Well, let me make these four points very quickly on the commonalities between the four or five presentations. I remember 30 years ago, the Maharishi Mahesh Yogi, with whom I was familiar, asked me, can you introduce me to Master Two? Why? Because Maharishi was using the word consciousness in the way in which consciousness raising internal consciousness by sister today or by the Acharya. And Mahasutra was talking about consciousness in a different way. Unfortunately, if the Maharishi had asked me uh, a few years before, I would by then uh, Mahasutra was on the way and inaccessible. Now, what this meant to me at that time was what is being said now. We have to define our terms. The term peace has to be defined. Peace, how? Uh, We've we got to go beyond that, where today, if you listen to the BBC, Mr. Bush is saying terrorism is one thing. Mr. Brown is saying the word terrorism is banned in the in, in, in UK. The other day, Hillary, even somebody like Hillary Clinton said, if we don't define what is terrorism, we'll get into the trap of defining everything in terms of 9-11 terrorism and not the response to state terrorism or that of the commitment of the freedom fighters. So the first point that I make is that this definition is necessary. Secondly, our last speaker just now talked about research. It's absolutely essential that our centers of research, because there is a major fallout of uh, about information, knowledge about conflict resolution, and so on. And unfortunately, this kind of research uh, and the knowledge output is terribly underfunded uh, because it is interdisciplinary, it is non-projectized but looking at wider processes, it gets down to fundamentals, whether the fundamentals come from religion or whether it comes from uh, other kinds of fundamentals as has come out from the UN today in relation to the in larger freedom and the covenants and the linking of the development with equity, security issues and the human rights. These are also put into a lot of boxes. And the donors or the funding agencies have no idea of how to uh, fund processes of rethinking and the movement to the new paradigm rather than the uh, now this came out very very clearly with my last point in 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 a, in, a, in, a, in an experiment we tried uh, uh, in Sri Lanka where in the war zone children have grown up without knowing any kind of peace because for 20 years in the northeast they have been bombed they have been displaced and so on. with the Red Cross our few of us, uh, and one of the banks, the Deutsche Bank, which was out of their social responsibility fund, put a few uh, rupees at our disposal. Uh, my grandniece came and had a dance recital and raised a little money, and what did we do? We picked 50 young boys and girls, like these bright people who are here in our midst today, who have been who have never known for family life, who have not been to school, who have not enjoyed any of the privileges of the other 30%. And in addition, have been brain damaged, have been traumatized by war. 
we carefully selected them because we were not coming at it from a psychiatric point of view, because there aren't enough psychiatrists. But we came in through the culture. We organized the program, we tried to bring them together for six months, and tried to get them to go back and work in their own villages. But you know what? The first step had to be undertaken. We put them through yoga training. They had intensive yoga training, uh, one and a half hours in the morning, one and a half hours in the evening. And why? Because there are these two elements. We, all of us, are working only within 15 to 20 percent of our real capabilities. But within that capability, there are the two dimensions. One is the individual dimension. One is what happens when you act as a community, as a collectivity. And through this experiment that we tried, we found that in the six months we had control over these, control uh, these people at our, where they come to us for a while, 10 days, then they go back and whatever they interact and learn, they go back and practice. That 49 stayed only one dropout first. That means, and these 49 came out reinvigorated, recommitted, and the brain damage to either malnutrition, to war, to tsunami, all of it had been, I would say, 90-95% eradicated. So this gave us a tremendous confidence that we had to work with these two dimensions, the left side of the brain, the right side of the brain, and as well as work within the partner. Thank you. For me. Thank you so much. Excellent case study.